I'm Tatum Skipper and welcome to Jackson County Today. Jackson County has a lot to offer. Let's take a look. Welcome back here at uh, the Mariana Mistletoe Market for the second day, Saturday, day two of the two day event. The inaugural year, but if yesterday was any indication, today is going to be a, a slam dunk. Uh, lots of people came through here yesterday, many of the vendors making money. When they admit to us that they made money, you know they probably did, because typically vendors are going to complain. Speaking of vendors, we have with us right now Tammy Merrill. Tammy actually spoke with us yesterday, and um, we had a, uh, not a, wall, a wardrobe malfunction, but a, a technological malfunction, and her uh, interview was sort of truncated right in the middle, and we didn't want to miss the opportunity, because because you are well-spoken and you've got a great product. Thank you. As we said yesterday, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. I'm honored looking, to be here. Well, looking back now, this is day two. Yes. Looking back on yes. yesterday, give us your thoughts about the relative success of the event. It's been a fantastic event. Lots of new faces. This is We are from Dothan, so this is a new area for us, but it was a huge success yesterday. Compliments to Covenant Hospice. Yeah, um, it's a well-done event. It's Absolutely. very simple, and at the end of the day, my motto is Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Absolutely. And that's what they've done. Everybody in the way of vendors have done their own decorating, Absolutely. although the lobby and some of the other areas have been decorated professionally. And to me, that's what that's what really sets this uh, event apart. It is simple. The vendors seem to have lots of space. Absolutely. Uh, ten foot. Some of them are double. One across from us here, Cowboys and uh, Pirates, is it? Is that what it says? Cowboys, Cowboys and Gypsies. Cowboys and Gypsies. Okay. Um, they've got a double booth, it seems. But, you know, um, as you walk around, everybody has the uh, holiday theme. Uh, Christmas lights, lots of red. Absolutely. lots of wreaths. Sure. Talk about what it is that you provide. We are a independent, I'm an independent consultant for the creators of Proactive Solution. They've launched a brand new company targeting aging skin, doing for aging skin and other skin issues what they did for uh, acne with Proactive. Ah, so okay. you would buy your product, you would come through me and get the individual customer service directly from me. So when you say it that way, if, if the acne, obviously the adolescent market, but then also the aging skin. So there's probably Absolutely. nobody that wouldn't be in the market for your sure, product. Sure, anybody with skin is our cust potential customer. That's pretty much all of Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Um, you, you say you came down from Dothan. You came we down did. as much to um, support Covenant uh, Hospice as, as to be a vendor. How has it been from the vendor point of view? Have you made some good contacts? Uh, um, did you tell me that you try to set up appointments to do uh, uh, on-site visitation? How does that we work? We do. We do. This. Um, I have been a, a part of the Covenant Hospice event in Dothan. And so when Jennifer uh, Griffin uh, contacted me, I was absolutely thrilled to be asked to, to be here and be a vendor here. And yes, we do. We set appointments to talk with customers. Customers can purchase from us right at our booth uh, ah, okay. or at a later date. Okay. At a later date. Okay. Or at a later date. Yeah. So now. This is a system to which you subscribe, basically, because once you start it, you I would can. imagine that it's a maintenance you want to level. Maintain. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. And and how would that work? There are multi multiple um, uh, substances that you would use, or or is this just a single lotion that that, that does it all? Or? It's a regimen. It is a routine that okay. uh, male or female. For, we don't discriminate, male or female. Sure. Uh, they want to look their best, and so it targets other skin issues, sensitive skin, aging skin, uh, sun damaged skin. We live in the deep south, so we're getting a lot of sun exposure and being close to the coast. So definitely that, as well as a different acne treatment uh, okay. that's available for, for people. So multiple skin issues. The physicians saw in their offices, they still practice medicine, that there were other other issues to target other than acne. And so they just got back to work with their creative juices and, and created four new skincare lines. Dermatology right now, huge. Um, huge especially industry. here in the south, especially here in Florida. Absolutely. Um, lots of skin cancer cancer issues Absolutely. showing up now it seems like even in younger people than yes. before and the way I understand it when you're burned as an infant or a young child that is really doing more damage than if you don't get the same kind of damage when you're older is that correct? Absolutely it increases your chances uh, when you're burned at a younger age it does increase your, your chances of potentially developing some skin cancers later in life so uh, that is one of the really big things that this company has taught us is protect protect yourself whether you're indoors or outdoors, uh, always wear a sunscreen.
rain, whether you work under the fluorescent lights or you're out in the sun every day. Yeah, protection in this case being much more, uh, uh, much, being much better than remedy. If you sure. can, if you can get sure. to, if you can never Prevent get to that it. point. Yeah. Yes, sir. Preventative. Absolutely. One of the organizations we represent is Early Learning Coalition. They are the uh, organization, uh, state mandated organization that oversees the child care facilities. Oh, okay. And part of their um, awareness program is, hey, you wear sunglasses, put them on your kid too. Sure. Uh, many people, you know, until a, a child gets to a certain age, don't even think about sunglasses. Right. Um, but it makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. And a hat, you know? Yeah. Hat, any, whatever you do to protect yourself, you want to do that same for that young child. Exactly. Well, um, I'd like to find out more about your product. Maybe we'll come over and visit Absolutely. you. And, um, but thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks helping for helping get the word out. Yeah. At hospice. Well, and we work with hospice year round, and, and we appreciate everybody who appreciates hospice Absolutely. Um, as we mentioned in our interview yesterday um, uh, nobody gets out alive and uh, this <laughs> is a this is a service that um, pro will probably touch if not everybody everybody is family at some point well it's such a negative in your life when you lose someone and when hospice is there to help kind of ease that a little bit it, it really can change it just changes your life that part of it that it, it just helps ease that that whole uh, experience we've experienced it personally my father um, my grand my husband's grandmother passed away with colon cancer and the hospice oh, wow. was there and it was a true when you've experienced it firsthand for sure it really um, it really speaks to you so anything we can do to help raise money for Covenant Hospice we're supported one of their slogans is adding life to days when days can't be added to life so oh, to, to help yeah. somebody enjoy and live to its fullest um, Comfortably, as much as much as they have, yeah. Um, uh, well, thanks again. Thank um, we appreciate you being Thank here, you. and Thank and thanks you. for talking with us again today. Absolutely, come here, see us. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll definitely do that here at the inaugural Mariana Mistletoe Market here in Mariana at the Ag Center, uh, just north of I-10, just south of uh, Highway 90. If you're watching this, chances are you're not going to make it out here today, but uh, mark your calendars. This is going to be an annual event uh, per Stephanie Gustafson, uh, the, uh, the big dog here at uh, Covenant Hospice. She says she's extremely happy and uh, hats off to Jennifer Griffin and all of the staff and volunteers from Covenant Hospice to uh, make this such a great event. We'll be right back. Definitely a team effort. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back.